Hey everybody, welcome back to Reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about our new and improved thank you page editor. This is the view of the thank you page editor as a pop-up as displayed from the funnel editor. If you wish to see the thank you page editor in a full page, you can do that from heading over to the reconvert dashboard, heading over to the thank you pages section and just click customize next to the thank you page template you would like to edit. Now let's break down the thank you page editor. At the top left corner, you can see the thank you page template name. You can rename it by double clicking it. I'm just gonna call it my first thank you page. By clicking enter, I'm gonna be able to see saved. You can see help video about the thank you page editor, which I'm guessing you're doing right now. On the right side, you can see a preview of a desktop version of your thank you page, and you can also change it to mobile. I'm going to get it back to desktop for the sake of the example. On the right side, you're going to see the thank you page status. Right now, it's draft, which means it's not live on my store. A thank you page can also be live, which marked as a green badge in here, and means that every changes you make here are going to be available for customers on the store. And it can also have a blue badge, which means this is the default thank you page. The default thank you page will be displayed in case no other thank you page you build has been displayed, just to make sure you always keep optimizing for conversions. You also have the save button here, which is now disabled because we still didn't make any changes. On the left side, you're going to see the control panel, which we're going to get into in a second. And at the bottom right corner, you're going to see our live chat that is available for you 24 seven. Now the main part of the thank you page editor is actually the preview in the middle of the screen. It's important to mention that many parts on the thank you page are mandatory by Shopify and we have have no way to customize them in any way or form. However, we can still drag and drop some elements around them and I'll show you that in a minute. Now let's talk about the right and the left area of the thank you page and talk about the and talk about the monetary elements by Shopify. On the left area, we have the customer information which is this block and we have the order conferred message which is this block. At the top, we also have the order confirmation message, but we don't have it as a section in here because it has to be at the top. On the right area, we have the order summary section. Again, this is a part we're not allowed to move in any way. Now, reconvert had 16 different widgets you can add to either the right side or the left side of the page. Let's say that I want to add a video to the right side of the thank you page. I'm just gonna click the right area. I'm gonna click add section. Here, you're going to be able to see a list of all the available widgets in reconvert. We're not going to cover deeply each and every widget in this video because this video is a tutorial about the thank you page editor i'm just going to mention all the available widgets birthday collector widget that allow you to capture customer birthdays call to action which is basically a button and text collection list which will allow you to display different collections from your shopify store custom html discount free text free text with an image link list post purchase surveys product recommendations Product upsell, which is a single product offer. Reorder button, which will allow your customers to reorder with a single click of a button. Social follow buttons, social media links, social sharing buttons, and a video. As I mentioned, for the sake of the example, I would like to add a video. If you wish to learn more about each and every video, don't worry about it. I will explain how to do that in a second. Now, as I mentioned before, we want to add a video to the right section of the page. I'm just going to click the video and click add. As you can see, once I added the video section, there is a help video right over here talking just about the video section in reconvert, including screenshots, images, videos, and more. So don't worry about it. You can do the same for each element you can add to your thank you page. Now, I'm just going to custom customize some of the things here. So we've added a video and let's say that I want to add product recommendations to the left side of my thank you page and I want to put it between the order confirmed and the customer information. I'm just going to go back, go to my left area, click add section, click product recommendations and then I'm just going to click add. Now I'm not going to go through all of the details and options for the product recommendations. Again, if you wish to learn more, just click the help video at the top. A few other things that are important to know about each and every widget you add, you can always hide it by clicking the hide button or unhide it, and you can also delete the section. It's important to mention that if you delete the section, this is irreversible and you can get it back. 
So I've added the product recommendations to my left side of the thank you page, but I want to place it between the customer information and the order confirmed message. Just gonna click back. And as you can see here, I have these six dots to drag and drop the product recommendations to the desired section of the thank you page. And now, as you can see, my product recommendations are between the customer information and the order confirmed message. You can add as many widgets as you like to your thank you page. Now there is one other area we still didn't discuss, which is the general settings section. This part is responsible for all the widgets or parts that are not related to a specific part of the thank you page or that are mandatory on a specific location. For example, if we have the pop-up with a time sensitive offer, since it doesn't have any specific location within the page, it's going to be in the general settings section. Also, if you ever wish to edit any of your existing widgets on the thank you page, you can simply do that by clicking on the widget. Once you're done editing your thank you page, just don't forget to hit the save button. Otherwise, changes will not be saved. I'm just gonna save it for now. And this is it. My thank you page is now saved and updated and you now know everything you need to know about the new and improved reconvert thank you page editor. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them in the comment section below or just reach out to our live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. Thank you for watching and good luck with reconvert. We'll see you on the next video.